All right, now we're gonna talk about flash fill, which is a new feature in Excel 2013 and onwards. So what Excel flash fill does is it detects a pattern in your data and then it fills in that pattern all the way down. So you have your data on the left hand side in the column and on the adjacent column, you type in a different pattern that you want to take out from your data. You type in one cell and then you type in a second cell, press flash fill, and then that pattern that you like fills it in all the way down. So it's a great way to clean and manipulate your data with a press of a button and without using a formula. Now let's activate flash fill. It's already installed in your ribbon and activated, but sometimes it doesn't work because you need to put in a checkbox. Now, if you go to your data tab here on the top, you see flash fill. So that's how you activate it. But let's go on to your back end of Excel and go to file and options. And under advanced, you go all the way down here and you got here automatically flash fill. Make sure that's ticked. Now sometimes it may be unticked. Someone may have played a trick on your computer, but you make sure that that's ticked so it can work properly. So that's how you switch it on. Now let's go on to an example here. So we have a first name, middle name, and a last name. I want to put it all together into one column. So you got to type in the first example to say, hey, flash fill, this is how I want my data to be filled in. So type in John J. Michaludis. And then it's always a good idea to type in a second example, especially if you have large data and you have different permutations. So let's type in Oz to Soleil. Now, to activate Flash Fill, just go to Data and Flash Fill, or you can press Control E. Control E is a shortcut. Now we're gonna press this button here. And you see that it's taken the first and the middle name and the last name and put it all into one cell. You see that? Beautiful. Let's go to another example, extract names. We have a full name here. I want to extract the first name in this column and also this last name in this column E. Now put in the first name here, John, press enter and then type in O. Now I'll press in O and then it gives me a suggestion. It says, okay, you're gonna put in Oz. Is that correct? And then at the bottom here, you wanna put Brian and Lita and Mika. So what you wanna do is take out the first name from the full name. It gives us a suggestion. If you like this, press enter. If you don't, just type in something else. We like this, let's press enter. And it fills it in. Now you get this box here. Let's tick on that. You get undo the flash fill. You can accept these suggestions or you can select all five changed cells. So you've got a couple of options there. Now we don't do anything there. If we don't like this flash fill, we just undo it. Or you can also press control Z, press control Z or control Y to go back. Let's put in that last name, Michaludis and press in Control E shortcut. You see that the first, the, sorry, the, the last name has been automatically extracted from this column and put in here. How cool is that? Let's go on to format numbers. We have a phone number here and we want to put in a hyphen after three, three digits. So every third digit put in a hyphen. Also the last number, we don't want to include it because it was downloaded in an error. So we don't want that, it means nothing. So the three, the five, the one, the six, the eight, let's get rid of it. So to do that, press in 814 hyphen, 428 hyphen, 422. Okay, press enter. We like this, we can do another example here, but let's just press Control C if it accepts it. Okay, it does, you saw that. It's put in a hyphen in every third digit, and also it's taken out the last number. So there's a lot of different ways that you can um, do flash fill. You can actually add in another number if you like, or a letter at the end. Imagination can go wild. It's, it's open to, to the way that you want to um, manipulate your data in, and there's no limit here. If I wanted to add in an AA at the end here, for example, let's get rid of this. 814 hyphen, 428 hyphen, 422 hyphen, and add in AA. Add a couple letters. Could be a serial number, not a phone number. Press enter, and then press Control E, and you see that it's added in AA to all the numbers there, as well as include the hyphens in every third digit. 
pretty awesome, yeah? Next example is move text and numbers. We have a serial number, 123ABC, 786SWR. We want numbers first and then letters. Now this here is wrong. It says ABC123. We want 123ABC. We want the numbers first and then the letters. We can do that, but we're going to tell Flash Fill this is how I want the data to be extracted. Let's do two examples, 123ABC. Okay, we want a data like that. And for these numbers here that are back to front, we want to put in digits first and then letters. Now, we can just press Control E. You can highlight everything as well, up to you. Press Control E and it fills it in. Perfect. Now, if this didn't work, for example, this last number here, it was probably in, in a, it didn't fill it in or it filled it in in a different format, it happens. If you especially have a lot of data, flash fill may not go in 1% of the chances, it may not fill everything in. If you have it, then you can manually just say, okay, this has to be 456DF, press enter, and then it will change that cell and all the other cells that have errors in them as well. So you can manually make changes to flash fill cells that did not work properly the first time. Now we have add text here. We want to add an email into first name and last name. So we have a list of first names and last names and we want to create an email for them. So we want to put in john.mikaludis at email.com. Okay, data, flash fill. There you go, bang. It puts in the first and last name and wraps it into an email. Imagine you had thousands of rows of data. You can do it in a second. No more formulas. Text of dates. Okay, so we have some dates here in this format and we want to put it into an Excel format. But we're going to do a couple of, of suggestions here to flash you because you have different versions. Uh, the American version, you got the month, date, year. The Australian version is date, month, year so what i want to do i'm an aussie so i want to put in the date first 31st of the first 2016 okay and then let's do a couple of these because with dates it's a bit tricky you may have to do two or three different um scenarios and let's put in the 15th of the first 2016 and we're here just press Control n and you see that it's filled it in now if there was an error it's okay, just go to the cell, type in what you want to do, press enter, and it'll fill in all the other cells there. So, flash fill, it's an awesome, awesome feature in Excel 2013 and 2016. You don't have to use formulas, and it's within a second, you can fill in thousands of rows of data. You can extract data to the way that you like it, data manipulation, data cleansing at its best.